Hey Internet, today we're going to download CodeIgniter, which is a PHP framework. Uh, it's very lightweight and easy to install, and it's very easy to learn. We're going to build a lot of awesome PHP websites, dynamic websites, using CodeIgniter. So, let's download it. Go to our Downloads folder. And if you watched my last tutorial, if, you, if you're using PHP, you have to have a local environment to run PHP so I have MAMP because I have a Mac and if you have Windows you're going to use WAMP so let's go to our applications folder and go to WAMP and go to htdocs inside of htdocs is where our local environment is so we're going to put uh, our project in our local environment here and I'm just going to rename it to CI and as you can see, I'm in the htdocs folder under MAMP, and if you're under WAMP on Windows, it's going to be the www folder under WAMP. So now that I just moved over that folder, we can now go to our localhost as long as it's our servers are turned on. So we have a new project here, and it's I called it CI. So I'm just going to click on that project. Or you can go to localhost slash CI, whatever you called it. And yeah, we just installed CodeIgniter. It's that easy. You don't have to use Terminal or nothing else. Other frameworks rely on Terminal to install. All you have to do is move it to the folder, and it works. So let's open this folder in your favorite text editor. I'm going to go over all the files in CodeIgniter. That makes it run. Move this over here. So just open up okay so there's three folders in here uh, the user guide you don't need Let's delete it license whatever the system is where CodeIgniter's core files are you don't want to mess with that so application is where we're going to be developing um, half these folders you don't even need like core cache helpers hooks you're a noob, so you're probably not going to be using any of these folders yet. You might down the road. So we're just going to make it easier for you guys and just delete them. So inside of our application folder, we have um, MVC. CodeIgniter uses MVC. If you don't know what MVC is, you should Google it or you should just. Yeah. So let's go to our controllers. MVC stands for Model View Controller. So, Model View Controller. And we're going to get into our models later in another tutorial. That's what handles stuff with the database. So, we're just going to mess with controllers and views right now. So, let's click on our controller welcome. What is this? Well, this controller is controlling the layout of this website. It's a simple one page here. So index means the home page. So we're on the home page and we're loading a view that we named it welcome message or it comes by default. So in here you have views and you have a file called welcome message. So we're gonna load that HTML file. So let's open that bad boy up. And this is all the HTML that runs this page. Um let's just uh delete all this styling here I'm going to delete this H1 and delete everything in the body and I'm just going to write a P tag and say what's up Cody Niner, what's up I'm going to get rid of this P tag also and I'm just going to refresh the page and that's it so we were running Cody Niner, we were playing with PHP and that's it our next tutorial I'm going to show you how to do an awesome website using PHP and how CodeIgniter makes PHP very easy. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another tutorial.